right, so we're going to uh, take a look at some lesions on your back here, and we've already identified a couple that we've marked. These are actinic keratoses. These are usually easily identified. They You can actually feel these. They have a little three-dimensional uh, aspect to them, and they uh, they look like just a little piece of mud that, that's stuck on the skin. So we've got a few there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to treat those. We're going to freeze them. Here's one right here. And, and we have a lot of them. We're not going to get take them all off. We'll we'll take some of the worst off. There's one right there. We'll do. And what else do we have? Okay. Here. Okay, what that's a that? that's actually a little skin tag, but it may have an actinic keratosis okay. underneath. So we're going to go ahead and freeze that and get rid of it. We have a little spot right there. We're going to do. And we have and a spot. Is that? Yeah, there? that's actually the same thing. It just has a little scaling on it. He's got two there. We're going to do one. And then this. Okay, what that right that? there, does that drain sometimes? Yes. Okay, that is a sebaceous cyst, and we're going to leave that alone for now because it's kind of small, but that's just a plugged oil gland, and in time it can get larger, and if it spontaneously drains, it's usually not a problem. All right, but all these, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some freezing with the liquid nitrogen. Okay, and we have to freeze all of these twice, okay? So okay. here we go. Get ready. This is going to feel cold. But remember, the most important thing is, I won't feel a thing. Did you hear something going through? Mm -hmm. I didn't hear anything. Cold, huh? It's actually kind of burned. Oh, honey. I'm getting close to the end here. Fine, just because I like my job. Okay, so we're going to do a timeout now in the video. Closer so you can see. All right, so we, what we have to do with these uh, actinic keratoses is we have to complete two freeze-thaw cycles. So we've done one, and right now, by just by feeling, you can tell that the uh, that they've warmed back up. So they have thawed, and so now we're going to start uh, the second round of freezing, and which unfortunately for my patient uh, has proven in the past to be more painful than the first one. So here, here we go. Was it more painful? He's not able to speak apparently. Lighting the bullet. Just... We gave him some rawhide, didn't we? Yes, yeah, so that's more painful. I told you. See, I'm nothing if not honest. That's yeah, called a burr. It's burning in the middle, but it's kind of cold around the edges, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Just two more to go. No, oh, just one more to go. This was the worst one right here. Woo, that's cold. Burst. All right, we're done. Okay, so that's it. These will don't turn the video off yet. These will, these will get red and kind of angry looking for a few days. They'll dry up, and the uh, the little uh, raised part of the the tissue will just peel off in time and. Uh, so there's no need to do anything like bandages or anything on this. This will be just fine uncovered. Okay, good work. You are a good patient. We're going to start rolling now. This is our patient, Double Decker. Mr. Decker, how are you today? I'm fine. Now. You're on camera now, okay? Okay. And you're okay if we video your procedure for our friends on YouTube? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, you've got some bumps on your head and you got a little bump on your back we're going to work on for you today. Okay. Uh, how's your blood pressure been doing? It's Good. Uh, uh, keep it under control yeah. with uh, um, um, quinapril. Yeah, you take it. Uh, Acupril. All right. Good. Good. And uh, what other medical problems do you want to share with our fans? Oh, I have. Uh, right there for me. Lymphedema. Lymphedema. Do you I know have. A, close your eyes for me. This is a seborrheic keratosis. We're going to freeze a little liquid nitrogen. That was cold, wasn't it? Yeah. It's supposed to be. If it's not it's, it's a little bit. If it's not cold, we worry about you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so you get these from time to time when we freeze them and they fall off, right? Uh yes, I've had them treated before. Right. And they come back or they come back in a different spot. But they're not dangerous. These don't have to be removed. I'm just doing this kind of as a courtesy because you just don't like the way it looks, right? Yeah, uh, it's more of my wife's concern that yeah. she hates uh, seeing my those bumps on my forehead. <laughs> right, right. So another way to treat them is we can just scrape them off, right? We could do that, but we uh, just like to freeze them and let them fall off. We think that's easier and usually it has a fine yeah, result. Yeah, it's, uh, it's done uh, yep. less risk of infection. That's right, and, and also if we scrape them off, people tend to walk out of here with blood sort of dripping down. We, we don't like uh, that. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, people get scared if you're in the lobby and there's blood dripping off your forehead. Nah, we yeah. we don't send people out like that. You know, I'm just messing with you. Okay, what other uh, what other medical problems are we treating you for? Uh, well, here um, I have had some uh, uh, dietary tre uh, treatment. Uh -huh. I've gone through that. Um, mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, your blood well, sugars? Other conditions I have done taken care of by specialists. There's a, some limited doctors, uh, right? I have a, 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 a hyperactive urinary bladder. Mm -hmm. You have an overactive bladder. You're on some and, medication uh, for that. That's I have working, a, right? Obstructive uh, sleep apnea. Yep, you wear a mask? Uh, yeah, CPAP. Mm -hmm. and I, and How do you feel if you don't wear that CPAP? Uh, it Tends, uh, I tend to be more drowsy during the day. Mm -hmm. That's very That's dangerous. Energy. Very dangerous not to treat your sleep apnea. Okay, close yeah. your eyes. We're going to freeze this again. We freeze all of these twice. So we go through two complete okay. freeze thaw cycles here. And then what this will do, it'll get angry and swell up a little bit. And then it'll just dry and peel off, right? Okay. okay. So we got the one on the front. We got a couple, looks like, on the back. We're going to roll over and do. Hang on for me. So here's another seborrheic keratosis here. Mm -hmm. And I'm blocking the camera, but you got a little one over there. So we're going to get these. Are you ready? Uh huh. These are a little bit smaller. That one you had on the front was awfully thick. Yeah, it's yeah, a bad one. Yep. Okay. And then you have a little one I wanted to get right there. Oh, oh don't, don't go anywhere. You're yeah. fine. Right there. We'll get it for you. There you go. We have to let these thaw. We have to go through two <coughs> complete freeze thaw cycles to get complete desiccation of the lesion. All right. And uh, then we'll take care of your whiner's dilated pour that you have on your back. That's what that's called, that little bump. And you've got lots of little bumps, but we're taking care of the ones that you uh, have requested that we take off. All right. Okay. So um, so you take a couple of medicines, one for the prostate, right? And you take uh, the blood pressure medicine, right? Yes, I do. Yes, that's right. Okay. So what, what I'm doing, the reason I'm feeling this is I want to make sure that these have warmed back up. That's why I keep touching. If in case anybody who's watching this wonders, you want to make sure that the uh, the lesion has thawed before you freeze it again, or it doesn't really work. Do my fake name. Use a fake name. Pablo. Pablo. <laughs> now, why did you select Pablo? I'm, I don't know. It's just the first name that popped in my head. Como se llama? <laughs> <laughs> Pablo. Okay. <laughs> I'll blink it out. I'll take that out of the video. Okay. All right. Uh, my friend Pablo here has got a couple of spots. You, he's in today uh, for uh, other reasons. You're in for a physical this morning, which we're doing, and we're taking care of EKG blood work. And we have a history of diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, elevated cholesterol problems, and uh, mild osteoarthritis, correct? Okay. And we had a we had a medication problem. Uh, we didn't tolerate the metformin, so we've taken them off metformin this morning. We're starting Trigenta. But anyway, while we're here today, we see these spots, and my friend Pablo here was telling me his wife was concerned about those, right? Correct. How long have you had those? Uh, several years. Several years, yeah. And they're getting larger and darker, right. aren't they? All right, these are actinic keratoses, so the way we treat these is, is uh, with some liquid nitrogen, and we do a little spray, and we should make these go away. Gonzo, I'm going to trade places right. with you. How are you today, Miss Gonzo? I'm fine, thank you. Look. You're Pablo. She's Gonzo. Oh, she's... Yeah, I know. I'm so hungry. Nobody has a correct name. All right, once you close your eye tightly for me, we're going to do the bottom one first. Ready? A little bit there, one more on the top. Ready? Close that eye tightly. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through two complete freeze thaw cycles. Comprende? Okay. You understand? Okay, I know your English is very good, but uh, it's not your first language, it's your second language, right? right. My second language is, uh, I don't know, I don't have a second language. <laughs> Spanish a little bit, un poquito espanol. Gonzo, what have you been up to lately? No, you ready for Christmas yet? Thanksgiving? What do you get me for my birthday? I'm not supposed to tell you. Okay, there better be a gift or else. No, there's no gift for you. Though. All right, let's see if these have thawed out by now. But what these are going to do, they'll kind of swell up a little bit. They'll get angry for a few days. They'll get, they'll turn red, and then they'll, they'll dry, talk to you. They'll talk. <laughs> they'll dry up a little bit, and then they'll just peel <laughs> off. Say okay, you got it, Pablo. Uh, okay, they just kind of peel off. All right, I make, I'm just feeling them to make sure they're thawed. While well, you're talking about doing that again, I have a story for you, but you keep doing that. Okay, you ready to get sprayed? Right. All right, close that eye tightly. I went to Jack in a Box the other day with, with Mr. Gonzo. You did? 
and the guy goes, do you want any sauce? And I said, yes, fire. Fire? Yeah, but there's a problem. What? Jack in a Box doesn't carry fire sauce. They only carry hot sauce. Right. I said fire, Mr. Gonzo repeats it to the guy, and the guy starts looking for fire sauce, and then he's like, oh, wait, what's fire sauce? <laughs> Fire sauce only comes in Taco Bell, not Jack in a Box. Right. Dodo Head was still looking for it. Well, the, yeah, at least nice he lets you know the correct, the correct answer. All uh, right, how no. was it? Did that hurt a lot? No, only just the just a little sting, just, right? Yes. Good deal. Hey, man, Pablo. Doctor, thank you. Very happy much. Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas. Don't thank worry you. about these. You can put a Band-Aid on them if you want to, but you do not have to. All right, so we're going to call you. Your nickname's going to be Cruz. Okay. Since you're kind of a Cruz guy right now. Yeah. All right, Cruz, you mind if we video you for a million, hundred million YouTubers? All right. He's All cruising right. around. Now, what you have here, you have some spots on your on your head. That's not why you came in today, but we, we really saw these things and we're, and we're concerned. Now, this one up here is not oily. It's kind of scaly. This one looks like an actinic keratosis to me. This one here... Could be a seborrheic keratosis. It is kind of oily, and the same with this one here. Now back here we have a couple more of these spots. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat all these for you with liquid nitrogen. Okay. What do you think about that, Cruz? <laughs> Sounds all right. What's your plan for rescuing the economy? Less government spending. Less government spending. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna straight. We're gonna start here uh, towards the back. Guns will get a close up in there. Can you see? Yes. All right. We're gonna do these for you. Are you ready, my friend? It's gonna be cold. One, yeah. two, three. One. Dose. Two. Dose. Okay. We can go Spanish here. This one's a little bit bigger. Ready? Uh -huh. Tres. Now this one here, I need you to close your eyes really tightly, okay? There you are. Good. I'm going to kind of cover you there a little bit too. All right. Now, we're going to wait a few seconds here, and then we're going to freeze them all again. We have to go through two complete freeze-thaw cycles. Did you see my mold? It didn't come off. No, I don't want you to freeze. No, no, no. It hurts. It's because you scratched it or something. I'm going to Why are you so pale? You need to get some sunshine. You're looking like a Casper the Friendly Ghost. Isn't she too white? Look how white she is. <laughs> I well, told my is. mom. She's too I white. I think I belong to the milkman. Oh, really? I'm the only white one in my family. Really? Yes. You are very light skinned. I bet if you got some sunlight, you would darken up quite a bit. No? I won't. I've tried. Poor Cruz. He's having to put up with all this. Hey, are you going to vote in the primary? Yep. Yeah? Okay. I, I, I'm actually registered this year. I might actually participate in the political process. I haven't decided. I was going to see if I go to the U of H. They, they might already be sold out by now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, NASA has to look for a parking spot yesterday because. For the big primary? Isn't yes. that like coming up in a couple uh, of weeks today. or something? Either today or tomorrow, I think. Oh, it is. it's just like early voting, I think. All right, here we go. You ready? We're going to do number two. Here we are, Mr. Cruz. One. Two. Now we're going to get the big one here. You ready? Three, four, that one really bothers me. Okay, close tightly. Five. Hey, you did great. How okay. was it? Painful. Oh, uh, it's all right. All right, <laughs> it stung you, a little bit, but I don't know. Good. You don't yeah. have to do anything special with these, but you might want to wear a hat for a few days because they're uh -huh. going to get kind of irritated and red, and then they should dry up and just sort of peel off or fall off. Okay. All right, my friend. We'll Thank see you later, you. okay? Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it can actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon.
Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Are your nails and skin looking dry from the summer heat? Does your hair seem brittle and unhealthy? Well, maybe it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. Coco Skin Plus is a custom blend designed specifically by Dr. Gilmore to restore your hair's shine, protect your skin from the elements, and make your nails strong and healthy. Let's hear from a few of Dr. G's fans. I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. I don't know if you want to zoom in. My nails have definitely gotten stronger. And finally, my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. Now available on Amazon with a dramatic price cut, Coco Skin Plus is only 50 cents a day. So stop waiting, order now, and experience the results you've always wanted. There's an Amazon link in the description.